Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marte. I come from Norway and I love makeup. And today I'm going to show you guys the uh, Divina Mystic Cove collection and Sea of Shadows, I think it's called. I didn't buy all of them, but I did buy the whole multi-chrome bundle of Mystic Cove. And then I got four of these from the Sea of Shadows collection. In this video, I will of course show you swatches of the two different collections. And then I'm also doing some comparisons. And I will say I have some dupes that are literally like almost 100% dupes, maybe like 99% dupes. And then I have a lot of different ones, or not a lot, but several that are very similar. I also wanted to mention that I have been trying out most of these shadows now. I'm still missing most of the ones from the Sea of the Shadows, Sea of Shadows, and two from the Multichrome bundle, but I have been wear testing them. So I will also mention my experience using them after the comparisons in this video. And I will of course leave chapters uh, to all the different parts in case you're just interested in seeing a few of them. So let's just get started with the live swatches first. That is the whole Mystic Cove bundle swatched out and you can see that they're very sparkly. They have a relatively opaque base but you will definitely see a difference if you... <laughs> My dog wants to go under the blanket one second. What I was about to say is that you will definitely see a difference on the shift if you use a darker matte base underneath these shadows. So now I'm zooming you guys in a little bit. I have my flashlight here so you can definitely see all of the shifts and sparkles. And we're gonna start off with Skyla up here. It is one of my favorite shades, like just the type of shade. It's one of my favorites. It's kind of like a yellowy base. It has a very warm, almost pink, orange to gold to green shift. And it's just so stunning. Next one we have Electra. It's more of a orange to pink to, or pink to orange to gold and almost a little bit of green and it's very beautiful as well. I just don't personally use a lot of pinks but I need to change that. <laughs> the next one is also a pink. It has a very pink base. It's a little bit more cooler toned. It has a kind of gold orange and then it shifts through green and a little bit of blue. So it's a very shifty one and that one is called Amphitrite if I didn't say so. Next one we have Thusa right here. It has a kind of pink base but it's a little bit more cooler toned and it goes from blue to green to purple or <laughs> in it's those colors but maybe not in that order I'm not sure but it's a very beautiful shade. Second to last we have Palemon which is kind of like a rainbowy shifty shade. It has a blue base but you can see that it has a kind of orangey <laughs> golden shift that goes to pink and then it goes to gold, and it goes to green, and then blue. It's a very shifty shadow. Last one we have Galene, which is perfect for anyone who loves purple. You can see that it has a purple to blue to gold shift, and it's just really stunning in my opinion. So those are all of the Mystic Cove shadows. I think they're really beautiful. They are some really stunning shades. And now I will be swatching the ones from the Sea of Shadows collection.
here we have the Sea of Shadows uh, collection, apart from, I think, the blues, because I don't wear blue eyeshadow too much, and one of the more neutral ones, which I know I have a dupe for, which, thank God, I didn't get that one, because I already have so many dupes from the ones that I picked up now. <laughs> but the first one here is called Sunset Sands, and this one is one I know I will love no matter what. I don't really care if I have any dupes for it, which I probably do have, but I didn't really compare it to anything, because I just... I love these kind of shades, so... Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of like a neutral orange uh, base with a golden to blue, I would say. <laughs> Almost like blue or silver. Uh, it's very, very, very sparkly and stunning. The second one is called Offshore Mist, and it's a slightly cool-toned green, but it's very light, and I think it's very pretty. I think it will be perfect now for spring and for summer, and it's just a shade I know I will get use of. Second to last is one of the most popular shades from this whole, not even this collection, but the whole drop. It has a teal base and a pink to green shift. It is very pretty, but I do have shades that are extremely similar to this um, already, but it is beautiful. So if you don't already have that, then this one is very gorgeous. And the last one here is called Frozen Waves, and it has a cooler toned pink to purple base with a slightly mix of green and blue to a purple shift and it's very stunning as well. I think a lot of people will love this shade. So those are the four shadows that I got from the Sea of Shadows bundle and I'm kind of satisfied with those and I'm glad I didn't get any more of them although they still look stunning, the other ones as well, but these are the ones I think I will actually get use out of. Now, those were the swatches of the eyeshadows, and I think they're so, so gorgeous. <laughs> but now I want to do the comparisons, and as I said, I do have quite a few comparisons, but not like super many. I didn't find any comparisons for the shadows that are called Sunset Sands, Offshore Mist, and Galene. I did not find any... Um, comparisons to those. I probably have something similar, but I just felt like the other ones were the more exciting ones to me, and there weren't really any one that uh, I immediately could think of when it came to those three shadows, just so you're aware of that. I will leave a star for the shadows that I prefer, because uh, I just realized that I prefer a little bit of both of the different brands, mostly it's Glam Shop and Davina, but for some of the shadows, I do prefer the Divina formula, and for some of them, I do prefer the Glam Shop formula. So I will just leave a little star so you can tell which ones are my favorite. Uh, and just uh, in case I didn't mention it in the video, I don't remember because it's been a few days since I actually filmed the swatches. Uh, so the Divina ones have a kind of smoother, more opaque formula. It's not as flaky as the Glam Shop one. The Glam Shop ones I find to be a little bit more flaky, but they do smooth out very nicely once you swatch them or apply them to the eyelid. But I would say the Glam Shop ones should be used with a glitter glue because they are uh, not as... I guess they just don't adhere as well as the Divina ones, for example, and mostly also Pastel Roses. They also adhere quite nicely to the lid, but the Glam Shop ones are a little bit drier in the formula, and therefore they just don't adhere that well. So I would use a Glam Glue, for example, with the Glam Shop formula, but with both Pastel Roses and the Divina ones, I have been using them without glitter glue, and I have not been struggling very much with Fallout or... Uh, that they aren't super shiny, although the glitter glue does make them a little bit more shiny, I will say that. But now let's just get started with the comparisons. Here I have my comparisons for the shade, I don't know how to pronounce it, but Skyla, Skyla. So the one that is Skyla is this one, then right here I do have Maya from Odin's Eye, and then I have Catchy from Glam Shop, and this one is Autumn Leaves from Shallowy Makeup. So I'm just going to show you guys, because I initially thought that Catchy was basically like a straight-up dupe, so that would be the two in the middle. But I do feel like the Divina one has a bit more of a prominent green shift. Um, and the Glam Shop one is a little bit more translucent or iridescent, because you can see that it kind of disappears a little bit on my hand as I twist my arm. 
And if you compare it to Maya, you can definitely see that Maya is a lot warmer. It has more of a pink shift and more orange-yellow. And then we have Autumn Leaves, which is even more yellow and limey than uh, the Davina one. And also I find that Shelly is a little bit less sparkly. I mean, you can see it right here, but it's just a little bit less textured, a bit smoother, even though it's like... Uh, called a flake. But at least here you can see all of the shifts of the comparisons, I hope. But I mean, if you do really need this one, if you have Catchy from Glam Shop, I'm not sure. It's just like the shift is a little bit more prominent sooner, if I can say it like that. On the Divina shadow. I'm just gonna turn down the lighting so it's easier to see. Glam Shop one does also shift very green but very much like in the end of the shift if, if that makes any sense. But on the eye I'm not sure how much of a difference there will be. Maybe I will use this in a comparison look with one on each eye. We will see but at least that was Odin's eye Maya, Divina Skyla and then here it's Glam Shop Catchy and Summer Leaves by, no, Autumn Leaves, <laughs> by Shall We Cosmet, no, Shall We Makeup. Now with the shade Electra right here, I'm comparing it to this one, which is the shade Yummy from Glam Shop. And I wanted to show them on the finger because from the pan, it looks like the Glam Shop one is the most flaky one, but honestly, this one almost looks flakier. <laughs> But, I mean, obviously both of them will smooth out once you apply them. So here is Electra. And here is Glam Shop Yummy. So personally, I find these to be almost exact dupes. I mean, I guess you can see a slight difference. I feel like maybe Electra is just a tad warmer. If you can see, this one is a little bit more champagne gold whereas this is more of a gold but I don't know it's like it really depends on where the lighting hits so for me these are dupes for sure I don't think there's going to be too much of a difference on the eye just for comparison's sake I'm going to also show you pink lemonade from pastel roses just in case you have it and you're wondering if it is similar or not you can see that it is a little bit deeper, it doesn't shift as much gold, and it has that kind of cooler shift as well. And then I also have this one, which is a lot warmer, it's called Love Letter. Um, you know, that was actually quite, quite similar though. <laughs> but it's not as intense and shiny, it seems. But here you have them, it is Glam Shop, then it is... Electra, Pink Lemonade, and Love Letter. Love Letter is a little bit more subdued and more of a neutral. Not as much pink and bright. Next up we have Amphitrite. Not sure how to pronounce that either. Then it is Glam Shop Indie. Much more flaky as you can see. And then it's Spectrum from the Pastel Roses. And this one has a little bit more of a warmer pink base, but other than that, they're basically identical. So let's swatch them out. So here we have Davina Amphitrite. Here we have Glam Shop Indie. And the Pastel Roses Spectrum. So I personally find these ones to be basically dupes. You can see that they smooth out exactly the same once applied to the skin. Uh, you can definitely see that Spectrum is a little bit warmer in the base, but the Glam Shop one in the middle there, it's just basically, <laughs> it's basically the same, I feel like. Maybe again the same difference with Electra and um, Yummy, that the uh, shift is a little bit warmer on the Davina one, but I mean, it's such a small, small difference. So that is Amphitrite by Divina, Glam Shop, Indie, and Spectrum from the Pastel Roses. Out of these three, I do actually prefer the Glam Shop ones because I, I just like the texture it has compared to the other ones. They're very, very smooth. Oh, and I probably need to show you with the flashlight on them as well. So here you can see the flashlight coming from, <laughs> from above. 
And you can just see that the Glam Shop one is just the most intense shifty one out of the bunch. Other than that, I don't know if you can really see too much of a difference. But yeah, those are those comparisons to Amphitrite. Next up for comparison, we have Davina Thusa. Then it is Glam Shop Virtual Pink. And then here it is Sakura from The Pastel Roses. So you can see that Sakura and Virtual Pink are almost the same. But Thusa is a little bit different. I feel like it has a cooler base and also more of a green shift compared to the other two. So let's watch them here. So it is Thusa from Davina, Virtual Pink from Glam Shop, and Sakura from the Pastel Roses. And I feel again that you can kind of see. I should have almost swatched this one in the middle instead of Glam Shop because I feel like this one is the most cool toned blue one. Then it is a little bit more on the teal side and then it's more of a green here. So that is kind of the difference in the shifts. And let's see with the lighting going on to them. I'll just find a nice spot for the light so we can actually see the sparkles and such. Okay, so maybe here. So the first one again is Thusa. It's very smooth very shiny. Maybe Glam Shop is a little bit more textured, the one in the middle. And then this one, Sakura from the Pastel Roses. Mm, it's kinda in the middle, I guess. It's not particularly textured, but also not super, super smooth like the Davina one. So hopefully you can see like the differences. Do you need all of these? Probably not. So just pick the one that will be cheapest for you. In, in terms of shipping and taxes and I think they will look very similar on the eye. Now for one of the most popular shades I think from this release it is the shade Palaemon and that's the one I have here. Then I have it compared to even better from Glam Shop. Looks really identical to me. And then it is Hypnosis by the Pastel Roses. I feel like it's the same but it's a little bit more dull. Let's just swatch them out and see. Palaemon, then we have Glam Shop, even better, and Hypnosis from the Pastel Roses. So again, it's that teeny, teeny, tiny <laughs> difference with the Divina one, the first one, being a tiny bit warmer, as you can see right there. It looks a little bit more orangey gold compared to even better, which looks a little bit more on the green side. And I don't know with Hypnosis, I think it's very, very similar as well to the Palaemon shade. Just a tiny bit less sparkly. And here we have them with flashlight on them. And I don't know, I feel like they're just so, so similar. <laughs> At least the one from Glam Shop compared to the Divina one. I mean, you can see the shift. It's, it's just the same shift. It could have been the same shadow that I had swatched. At least that is my opinion. I feel like the Pastel Roses one is slightly lighter, but again, if you do have it and are wondering if you should pick up the Divina one, I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> Unless you love these shades, of course, then it's nice to have it in different formulas, but they're very similar. Next up, we have Half C fog which is this one that is one of the ones that are more considered a duochrome then here i have pastel roses zoe sight i feel like those are literally exact dupes but maybe we will see something once i swatch it on my arm or my hand <laughs> and then we have a tuli here from glam shop and i'm just going to swatch them out so we have have sea fog, Zoe sight, and Tuli. So here you can see the different bases. Um, from what I can see, they're basically the same color of the base. I will say though that this Glam Shop one has a way more iridescent base, but if you use the glam glue or glitter glue with it, that base is going to show though. When it comes to the Pastel Roses and Half Sea, fog i think they're basically the same and if you have one of these you definitely don't need the other ones 
I received the Zoe side one. I think I received it in uh, like as a gift, not as PR, but as a gift in my order. Um, so I was kind of happy because I did want to see if it was similar to Tully, which is which it really is in my opinion. Um, and half sea fog, I kind of just got for you guys to compare. <laughs> that is like the only one that I bought even knowing that it was going to be very, very similar. And I'm just going to show you with the flashlight as well. So here you can see kind of the shift and sparkle, I hope. I feel like I prefer out of all of these, I think I prefer the pastel roses one in the middle there. I just feel like it's the most shiny and shifty one. But it depends a little bit on your preference. I feel like the Glam Shop one is a little bit more slick. Um, it glides on a little bit better, whereas the Pastel Roses formula is generally drier. The Vina is kind of more in the middle, it's just like a regular, really nice formula. But as you can see, I feel like they're very similar, if not identical. Next up we have Frozen Waves right here. Then I have the shade Dreamcatcher from Pastel Roses. Uh, those two I find to be very much dupes. Now I was stained a little bit on this finger, so if it looks a little bit deeper, I think that's why. But this one is Vector by Glam Shop, and they're not necessarily dupes, but I do find those shadows to be just very similar. It's a little bit less green, as you can see, but I think that's actually my preference is this one. Just as like a last minute add-on, I remembered that Laser is basically a dupe for Dreamcatcher, so it's gonna be very similar to the Divina one. I don't know if I'm able to show you guys those right next to each other here, but I'm just gonna swatch them for you. Okay, so here is Frozen Waves by Divina. Here we have Dreamcatcher by Pastel Roses, then it is Vector by Glam Shop. And we have Laser from Glam Shop. So I don't know if you can see like any difference right here. I mean, they're all, all very similar. I feel like maybe Frozen Waves is a little bit less green than the others. But at the same time, it's not as cool toned as Vector. Oh, I'm not able to describe these to you guys because I have the... <laughs> I have my key light right in the back, so I'm really like blinded by the light. So these tiny differences, I'm not able to tell anything apart right now. But I do feel like Dreamcatcher and Laser are both basically the same as Frozen Waves. So I hope that you are able to see the differences and make up your mind yourself as to whether you need one or several of these ones. So again, the first one right here is Frozen Waves, then it is Dreamcatcher by Pastel Roses, then it is Vector by Glam Shop, and Laser by Glam Shop. Now, I hope that the comparisons were interesting or helpful if you already have some of these shadows or in case some of these brands are easier to get a hold of or cheaper to get a hold of for you. As I also said in the intro, I did do some wear tests and I've done wear tests for Skyla Electra and Galene, but I'm not sure if I took photos of everything. I know I took photos of the two first ones at least. <laughs> um, so with Skyla, and I will try to leave the photos with time uh, for like the wear time uh, up on the screen. For Skyla, I used glitter glue, the glam glue. The, I used it on my right eye and I used nothing apart from like eyeshadow and eyeshadow primer for the left eye and I kind of experienced that the right side would look a little bit more shiny with the glitter glue. But weirdly enough, <laughs> the left side without the glitter glue actually kind of looked better once I was like finished with the wear test. So that's like, I don't know how to explain it. It must be something with the formula of Divina. So I would almost recommend to use the Divina ones without glitter glue, which is really odd because I never usually recommend using shimmers without glitter glue but with those I just feel like like today as well I used the glitter glue here and I used nothing here and it just adheres so nicely I don't have any fallout it looks very shiny it's just a tiny bit less shiny than the one with the glitter glue and you can't really tell <laughs> so I had a really good experience with Skyla 
and then Electra as well. I did have a little bit of creasing, but nothing bad at all. I think it was maybe like 10 hours or more wear time and the creasing was barely noticeable. And for me, I do have creasing usually at least a little bit. So for me, that's just a proof that these are very good for people with oily lids and hooded eyes. With Galeen I did try a different eyeshadow primer. I did use the Milani one with the Galeen shadow and then I had a little bit more creasing. I did not take any photos but I'm pretty sure it was due to the Milani primer anyway so you can't really do a proper wear test if you have several variables that you are uh, changing up so uh, I wouldn't really say that. The Galeen is probably the same kind of formula, the same kind of no creasing as the other ones. So all in all, I would just say that I'm really happy with these shadows, although I do have uh, kind of, I do have dupes for most of them, but I'm still not mad that I got this because they're so high quality. They're really amazing. And you just have to consider for yourself if it's better to get the Divina ones that are a little bit more pricey. They come from the US or if you should get something from the Pastel Roses in the UK uh, or Glam Shop, which is in EU. So it's going to be different prices, of course, but maybe if you're in US and you have been feeling a little bit uninterested in purchasing from Glam Shop because of the like $30 plus shipping, then maybe you will actually save up that kind of money anyway because of the big price difference <laughs> in the shadows. Um, and if I didn't already leave it up on the screen, I will just leave the uh, general price uh, points for the different shadows up on the screen now so you can like see the difference. Um, I think it's a big difference and I don't think there's that big of a difference in the shadows themselves, but it's also like Pastel Roses and Divina are brands that are run by just one or two people. So of course they have to have a little bit higher charges because they are spending much more time to create their shadows. But you also have to like think about the end result. Is it gonna be different? Is it not? What is the most important thing to you? Uh, anyway, I could ramble on forever about this, but now at least you have gotten some swatches of the shadows, you've gotten some comparisons, you have seen a couple of the looks that I've created with these shadows and I hope that it was helpful or interesting and I would love it if you comment down below what you think of this collection. I think it's so gorgeous myself, but I'm just gonna finish off the video right now. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye!